Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here, and I welcome you to yet another video. Today, I am again playing Chrono Arc. Of course, uh, I will not only play Chrono Arc on this channel, and I will. Tr I, I don't know how long I can keep up daily vids. I'm gonna try to re uh, pre produce a little bit, but no promises here. You know, the last time I tried this didn't go very well. Oh, I also didn't think of pre-producing videos the last time I tried, but... But yeah, I just want to have some fun and do what I like. And playing this game, is a bit of both of them. Today I want to try a run with, uh... With... Silverstein and Sizz. I like this combo a lot, it, it can deal a lot of damage, but... It has a very big problem, which is mana. But let's see what this, where this takes us. A monk here. Interesting. <clears throat> well, I am pretty much looking forward to what this run will bring. Like yesterday, I've already recorded one run, but Ben got uh, shanked by RNG. In the third boss fight, and was like, "Yeah, let's just let's just pretend this never happened." So yeah, but that run also had one accessory which I had, t which I was able to take over from my run before that, which was off stream. That, well, that was just uh, off video, I want to say, which was just a run I. I streamed with my friends yesterday, <coughs> where I almost beat the game on Expert with a Leon, Joey, Ironheart, and uh, Narhan comp composition. Alright, I have not explained anything yet. Uh, and this is a very bad setup for first skills. Damn. Yep, the last run already looked 100 times better. Alright. Silverstein's passive ability is that whenever an enemy is hit with a single target skill, they get uh, marked. And if I had, if a marked enemy gets hit with a single target skill again, the mark triggers and they're getting hit with two shots. Now his skills are kind of based on that. Like Grape Shot Blast uh, makes it so that the mark bullets will be AoE but deal one less damage. Just an example then. There's also one skill that turns over to crits. There's a skill that turns uh, that, that adds one more bullet to it. Several skills do several things, but the skill I wanted the most is currently not in my possession, which makes it easier to get the stuff. Hands of prayer is definitely something for Sis. Sis's healing is not too strong. So basically what my plan is with uh, Silverstein is I hit the enemy a lot with single target attacks. Hopefully cheap ones. And then hope for the best. Alright. Like so. To trigger that. Again, the real gameplay loop only shows in boss fights, so I cannot really show his potential here. He was also my main DPS in the one time I beat the game on normal. Alright, um, as for Sizz, she is a, a an aggressive support. Meaning that um, her passive basically is, it, it is called Doll Eve. And whenever an, an ally is hit with a single target skill, yes, that is a common occurrence today. Whenever an ally is, is hit with a single target uh, spell from us, so an ally spell, then Dole Eve will be on to them, increasing their attack by 10%, and whenever they attack uh, something with a single target skill, Eve will trigger and do one more hit. This is usually 6 to 7 damage depending on other factors. Also, Eve's, uh, also Sizz's skills are based on um, 
buffing or changing that passive. However, I do not have any of those. <laughs> Eve Guard is a is her best healing spell with heal, with twenty healing value right now, and get grants says heal gauge protection. Collect Eve just restores two mana if Eve has two stacks. If the ally that had Eve will uh, receive fourteen barrier. This is um. Okay for mana ma manipulation, so Collect Eve is a skill I might want. Just to trigger Mark of Silverstein more. Especially if I have a zero cost healing spell which can just resummon Eve. And Thread of Life is a is an alright AoE heal skill that if Eve has two stacks can consume one of those stacks to restore more health. Well, here I just take Eve Guard, and here I take Collate Eve, since, <laughs> well, this is not, <laughs> my skill selection is not what I wanted at all. However, could be worse. Let's see who the first boss is and if we can beat them. Whoa, Cerberus! I've had Cerberus in a long, long time. Alright, uh, this is one stack of Eve. I need another one. If we draw this, we do not get another stack of Eve. Okay, and we do this just for her to get a barrier. That was not the skill I wanted to exchange, but I take it. Whatever. Gotta heal herself. Then gotta heal him. He now has Dolly with two stacks. <coughs> and that's the boss. Done. Dark Cross. Hmm. Actually, that is incredibly good on Sis. More healing power and the uh, target of ally skills gets uh, ignore taunt. Incredibly strong. I'm taking it. Since Sis by herself doesn't have great healing, I would prefer to have a character that, that can also flexible, uh, be flexible at healing. However, we do not get healing characters at this stage. <laughs> Except we got Narhan! Narhan can double as a healer. Narhan is one of these weird tank characters that can, also, that can heal and deal damage. And mainly he's just a he's just classified as a tank because he has the highest base basic HP. Not that much of a uh problem right there. Red of Fate removes overload from all allies, restores all our mana, and draws skills equal to Eve's stacks. However, Eve is getting removed then. Also, it's a skill that's discarded after two turns and we can only use it once per battle. It is known as uh, Scissor's better rare skill, mainly because it removes overload, but it also costs two, and we are already so mana hungry. However, it restores all mana. Honestly, I think this will just be better going forward, but we have to get a lot, a lot of mana fast. Okay, that's an ID scroll, that's a lifting scroll, nice. It's probably enchanting scroll. It was a scroll of meters, so that was very bad. But whatever. We didn't use another dark cross because of that. Okay, I'm not spending those two soul stones yet. I want to increase my mana first before I level my Narhan. Cursed enemy right there. There's forge. Yeah, forge this early is not too good. Well, I guess I have to. 
I have to actually fight a cursed enemy. So I have two lifting scrolls, why not use them? Turning this into a regular bell. I can just collect Eve here to get more mana. Okay. And there goes that. All right, now I have enough ma enough soul stones to do this and this. It draws two and restores one mana once. Good enough. A negative cost skill will always be great. It doesn't have swiftness though, huh. I don't have any attack on my hand. Alright, draw two, restore one mana, heal him, heal her, Somehow worked. I have no idea how I did that. We don't have keys though. Skill book, two keys, screw of meters. Screw of meters allows me to turn a an item I don't need into gold. Like the strike ability. Alright, I don't have anything on Narhan yet, he's still level 1. Well, actually, let, it, let me level him. Psychometry! Basically, he identifies one en uh, enemy, and if I hover them, I get to know who they are gonna attack. We take this, and we don't get his better attack. Take a Mentalist, and we definitely use this on him. Get Rapid Shot! Okay. I wanted to take Cold Hearted, because that would be a secondary healing skill. But Rapid Shot was the skill I wanted on him, because this is a recastable one cost, meaning that we get to insta trigger. Uh, we get to insta trigger our best abilities. Healing increase potion. Let's call some sis. Those increased potions are up for the entire run. So. We can just spam him nilly, nilly willy. More maximum health, Narhan likes that. He scales off maximum health, so that's pretty good. Forge is still not helpful. Ghost badge. Very bad. Huh. I could go ahead and uh, identify some of my items with the shop, but ouchies! Quick fire.
I already like that skill. I would like it even more the more mana the more max mana I have. Wow. Ah, this is not good. I wanted emergency, but I didn't get emergency, so I guess I get increased max mana. It costs three, but for every turn it remains in my hand, it costs one less, so... If I keep it in my hand for a bit, it costs zero, or I just cast it for more. I don't care. Reorganize was just not good enough to take here. It, uh, reorganize is better with characters that uh, create a lot of skills, like Azar. Reorganize is literally Azar's draw skill, in my opinion. Can we get a level once more? I want to level Narha because he has shit skills. I mean, take Cold Hearted, which is the basically heal spell. Alright, I want to identify, uh, identify some of my potions. Okay. Identify once more. Yeah, I have a lot of bad potions here, but that shouldn't be a big problem. I also have a lot of bread. I should come if if I still have this much bread after two one, and I get Phoenix as an option, I might just take him. All right, it's witch time. A paranoia has a uh, skill that can stun. Now she taunts. Don't know how long she taunts, but she taunts. Can't move this turn anyway. And now I put the curse on him. This will also trigger Eve. And now I put it on him. Don't know if we have we had the witch before, but I have to put the curses on everyone uh, on someone each turn. If I don't, they will be applied to everyone. So, haha. Yeah, I can collect Eve for two more mana this turn if I don't attack with him. Like Eve has swiftness, so I just can just heal her. Oh, the cards need to be played from the hand, something I forgot. Right. That was a cold hearted heal, by the way. <laughs> this would cost one less, this would be good. Get an attack skill. This will trigger Dolly though, so we only draw one card for the faith. Unless...
Sounds those two, they don't get to move this turn, nice. I might lose this actually. Maybe not. I just have to survive this now. Really? Just as I said, Bob. He has no attacks. I lose this fight. Well, he has paranoia. Yeah. <laughs> right as I said that it will be uh uh, uh what a hassle. Like for real man. Just kill Silverstein right after I say that I probably win this. Uh not yet. Which means we are going to consume the healing potion at least, which is nice. And some of our bread. We also have an ID scroll. Nice. I will not use that. It's only for a stage and it can kill me. It's a camping item, bread, bread, bread. Okay, so if I still have four breads. There, mantle shock. Mantle shock is basically a. Oh yeah, I can kill this now. <laughs> mantle shock is a one cost. Uh, a one cost uh, skill that but deals damage based on Narhan's max HP. This is a rare skill. This costs free. This is so bad. This is like really bad. You know what? I take a bad trip. 
We put this here because I like to spam my hand. So this makes it so that uh, my hand will never be empty. More money. Let's go. Free one. <laughs> I am super not confident in our combo. I need a lot more mana for this. But yeah, another cool thing about Rapid Shot is that it has swiftness. Cold hearted is good. <laughs> right, got another bear trap. And that's what Cold Hearted does. Cold Hearted is literally our one skill that saves us right now. Let's see how far we can take this. Uh, we'll be in a very bad spot very soon. Six mana now. No attacks in hand. Always a joy. That dies, we get healed, perfect, and another devil's elixir, very bad, we get more mana. I am super on edge right now because I think my comp is really bad. Or all of the skills I have with it is not very optimal. There's a cursed enemy, I do have three lifting scrolls. Uh, let me get the treasure here. That's rolled. I do not like this. Nope, I don't. Now we need a forge. Since we already had one at two, uh, at two, one, two, we'll probably not get one very soon. Ugh. Right. 
shouldn't have done that. My bad. Odd. Yeah, my comp is super bad. I have a balloon kind of cucked us here with our health. Uh, well, what can we do to turn this around? Increase morale is a very good skill for that. Uh, we need close quarter. Basically everything that likes that, that lets us uh, cheat our mana is really good now. <coughs> There's still the issue of not knowing what boss is waiting for us. If it's the parade tank, we might just die. Better than nothing. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, there's something here. We have enough lifting scrolls. Yeah, using all the cards in our hand is pretty good. He heals when he gets damage, that's pretty nice. That instantly kills, that's not so nice. Oh yeah, bear trap. I forgot about the bear trap. Fog should come in there. That's dead. Uh, evacuation set. Lucky coin. Shoot him. And just shoot him again. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm very concentrated right now. Sorry, but I'm not uh, commentating as much as I should be. But this is a scenario that is very difficult for me right now. Right here, we can dump all the stuff we don't want, like the Devil's Elixir. And the three weakening potions we have. Not all of these potions can be bad now, can they? Huh. Alright, let's just... Oh wait, this is just a free tile, right? Yeah, that's just a free tile. Actually, we can still uh, use this. Get rid of more stuff we will never use, like this, or this, or this. Or the thing we just literally got. Greater heal. Costs free for big healing. Don't want. Uh, I will never use a smart heal gener generator. What kind of potion is this? There's a shop here. Attack or increase potion. Alright. That's a good one. I will take one key with me. If it's the parade tank we're facing, we might just die here. But that's fine. This is fine. It's all fine. Bread. 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 Let's see what we can do against the next enemy. Actually, let's level Sis and uh, Silverstein to free. Time to move is good. What do you get? Freezing Bomb. Well, it's a stun, if nothing else. Oh, we're facing Joker. Joker is an RNG baseball. So I think we already fought him once. Uh, the mentalist can go boom. He will whistle in the first turn, we already know that, because I fought him already. Alright, close quarter is really good here. Let me quick fire. He will whistle, I don't give a shit. Basic protect for him. Okay. We already get our Joker card. That's pretty good. Then this will have no consequence for us right now. For us. Increase our max mana because we have no ability in hand but does anything. And uh yeah. Now he'll mark another skill, we'll take not bad draw, we'll take grape shot. She will do laughter, we already know that. Okay, we have nothing too good, but well, we can stun him.
He'll whistle again, because he'll always do that if, he had, if we have nothing here. Well, we can just... Ah, oh, no, we cannot stun him. Let's see... Uh, close quarter is good. And we can unstun her, that's really good. Uh, we don't need to increase morale here. Actually, we have more... <laughs> I'd say that this guy is mana hungry, but right now we have more mana when... I do- I know what to do with. CC resist plus 60%. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can actually beat this. <laughs> so every two turns you'll make us uh feel make us feel pain. Debuff? I don't know. It's a weakness debuff, so this will work. This is not a swiftness, this will. Yeah. <gasps> I dodged. That's really good. Oh! Oh, bleeding or stunned! Must feel bad. We get- we did it! We- we beat Joker! Joker is the easier one of the two bosses, so that would have been a bit, uh... A little bit concerning if I did not beat him. But we're on a very, very subpar run, so anything is possible here. Alright, next recruit! Oh god. Oh god. So, since we already have one damage dealer and one... Well, Narhan currently is built more as a support with a bit of damage on the side. So having more damage would be great. Johan sadly does not synergize at all with Silverstein. Because Silverstein's uh, mark, as we found out earlier, does not work on fixed skills. However, Johan mainly works upon, on fixed skills. So, yeah, Johan kind of useless here. <clears throat> Iron Art is extremely good the more healers we have. So technically, this is a good inclusion. And we can also make him deal a bit more damage than usual. But I think... Well, the survivability he provides will be, will be great, but we need more damage overall. So we need Hein. <coughs> Hein is a better damage dealer here. Hein has madness! Madness... <coughs> Damn it, my voice is going away again. Madness basically... Um, when Hein kills an enemy with a skill, he casts the skill again with a bit lower, uh, lower strength. End of the line is a good countdown skill. A soul sledge is a good regular skill. And, and Terrap is his best regular skill. 
Uh, book. Snipe is a thing will, that will make uh, the extra tech counter, but also costs free, so I don't like it too much. Uh, well. Identify weakness is probably the best one from those. Let us eat our remaining bread. And then we give this to Narhan. Right. Yeah, let's evade more armor. Alright, that's our comfort today, I guess. I guess. I'm not too happy with it. But maybe it turns out to be okay. That is a cursed balloon. That is indeed a cursed balloon. Okay. I barely have a... Uh... So one other issue I'm, I'm seeing right now is that since I didn't get a... Wow. Since I didn't really get a good skill off, uh, off the fountain, I am currently having a problem of not having a, or rather, not having good draws. Don't want him acting again while we're all stunned. Okay, you get healed, and you get strike back. enough to kill him. Now we don't have enough mana. And he died of a red trap. I completely forgot I cast that earlier. And she's stunned, and they create a balloon. Yeah, I definitely need to get more draw skills, otherwise we're pretty pretty much done here. 
But I also need more mana. Okay, hasty counter is a better draw skill and plate grinder draws two. Yeah, I was that desperate, but I just got two draw skills at the same time. I do believe uh, we'll be definitely dying to the next boss, though. <laughs> I cannot see this party succeed, really. Okay, grape shot. Hmm. More balloons, all right. No attacks. Yeah. It would be cool if we could attack, but we just can't. Oh boy, this run is pretty pretty bad, not gonna lie. Just enough to kill them. She's dead. He's dead. Yeah, we've, we've got two dead people. This is the point where we can just surrender. Because we can only revive one and we still have a boss to fight. Now we can kill him. Oh yeah, three people are dead. Even better. Well, in that case I will end the run right here. I can only uh, I can only revive one person and uh, yeah, two people will not be enough to uh, to kill the next boss. The two two boss is pretty strong anyway, so yeah. In that case, that was this run of Chrono Arc. I will for fight right here. But I hope to see you guys next time when I try again to somehow make a run work. However, we were all there. I was very uncertain about the whole run. It felt really bad for the majority of the time. So, we now know what does not work. And that is always a very important thing. That being said, hopefully I see you guys next time when I try to win a run of Chrono Arc again. Bye bye.